Hey everybody, Scott coming from you from Houston, Texas, doing a southern style. I already did one video on the crow's foot stomp brush, uh, but I wanted to show another technique for the application of the mud. And I want to show you what you got to do with this brush at first. So, so this one's been sitting in a trailer a little bit. It's not real old, but you want to make sure that you have good shape on the brush when you start. So I just take a water hose like this. and spread all the bristles out real good. You want to get that oval shape all the way around. So just wetting the bristles will get that shape out where they're all around. And you want it wet to start with anyway. So now we've got it all laid out nice. We've got it all laid out nice and wet. So I'll just shake the excess off. And so we've got a patch in, so now you've got nice shape to the brush, the original shape to the brush. And so that's important to get your, your crow's foot and your stomp right. So make sure you get that all nice and fluffed out, so to speak. Excess water, you want it a little bit wet, but not dripping. And so this technique, what we're doing now, uh, about to show you, we're going to walk in here now. My guy Ernesto's in there rolling. So my other video, I sprayed it. But we're going to show you another way to do it as far as the application of the mud. So follow me. So real close up on the texture. It's just a real light uh, stomp. So there's multiple ways to apply the mud. You can spray it, you can roll it, you can put it on with the brush. What we're do doing here now, as you can see, he's rolling it on. So we've got everything covered up. All your shower uh, walls are covered, floors are covered because it does leave a pretty good excess of mud. You know, when you're rolling, you're going to have over roll, if you will. So another thing we like to do too, is we're going to put a little bit of mud on the brush. Keep going. So I like to put a little bit of mud on the brush because if you don't, then the brush is just literally going to take the mud off. So I like to put a good start on it. Go ahead. So we got the mud really, really loose. As you see, it's almost like water, or I would say like a thick paint. You don't want it too thick. If it's too thick, then you'll it'll pull down heavy. And we're doing a real light. You can go a little bit lighter than that or nothing. Keep going. So we'll let him finish rolling the rest of this. You know, get your mud on your brush real good. No particular way, just enough where you're actually going to add a little mud and not take away as soon as the brush touches the ceiling. So we're going to coat the whole ceiling nice and even. And you'll know when you start stomping how thick you need it to be. And then you can move the brush. So move the brush. Always keep moving when you stomp it. So I'll just turn and it's a good plop. You don't want to hit the ceiling real hard, but enough to pop the bristles up. cover it. We'll get those edges real good on the outside where your old rock, the new rock is. So make sure you do a good blend and you don't leave a line when the, when it's painted. Another freeze, you know, water damage. So we tore out the sheetrock and re, re insulated, uh, re hung it. We did some 45 minute mud, taped and floated it real tight skim on it and then you want to sponge the edges on your original texture from the old to the new. If you don't sponge it, you got a good chance of that line to show. So we just take a wet sponge, which I've done in a couple other videos, including my plaster video. Alright, let me see that cold. Gotcha. So again, we're just going to keep turning on the brush. So you don't have a pattern, so there's no pattern in this. 
And again, make sure you, you double up over those edges where your old stuff is. Got a big edge right there. Okay. In the back. Yeah. All right. All right. right there. No more. Yep. That's so, what you don't want. So I'll go out a little bit to kind of add to it. Now this will shrink up a little bit because the mud's really wet. So it looks maybe a little bit lighter there, but it's hard. It'll be very, very hard to tell when we're done because this will shrink up a little bit too. You know, another demonstration on how to do a uh, small brush, crow's foot, whatever you guys call it. Um, we're going to do, there's a lot of brush finishes in Houston. So I'm going to start doing some more demonstrations on some of these really unique uh, brush finishes. But that's Scott, uh, Southern, Southern Houston, or Western Houston, Katy, Texas, doing a Southern style. Like I said, doing a Southern style, please subscribe. I'm trying to get my list up right now. You guys are helping out a lot with views and hours. Uh, but I need more subscriptions. So tell you folks, if you have anything particular you want to see, hit me up in my email. It's in the, uh, it'll be on the bottom of the video when we cut it. So y'all have a good one. Southern style.